everyone, morning, um, or should I say guten morgen, since we're still in Germany and Frankfurt. I wish I could show you actually my view outside. I uh, just finished my workout session, already dried out, so already went for a quick breakfast. I'm going to use those minutes just to show you a part of my grocery shopping since uh, it's impossible to show everything and besides loads of things I bought in bulk so I have three or four um, items that are like identical um, so I'll just show you the major uh, the major products that um, I always buy when I'm in Germany a pro so this is the, um, the as you can see the coconut yogurt um, Alpro is a very popular brand, so uh, anywhere I go I can find it, well except like obviously like US and Australia because they have their own brands. Uh, so you can find either the, um, either the, sorry for that, I'm trying to like shed some light on it. Um, so I put like extra lamp just so you guys can see, but that means like a bit of shadows here and there. <laughs> so anyways, you can find either the coconut one, you can find Alpro soy yogurt and almond, uh, and almond, yeah, so Alpro uh, almond. So as far as uh, nutritional value per 100 grams, uh, we are looking at 2.3 grams of uh, carbohydrates doesn't really specify a fiber which i don't think there's a lot of fiber in, a, in coconut yogurt so let's just take it at a face value of 2.3 grams of carbs per 100 uh per 100 grams um so what i eat it with i, I actually took it um to breakfast buffet with me because usually at the breakfast buffets at different hotels you obviously have yogurts uh and even if it's a plain yogurt though it's full of sugar so um i brought it with me and then what I usually pair it with um, is uh, just cottage cheese so yeah this is like the bio brand that one is per 100 grams we're looking at only one gram of carbohydrates um, most of the cottage cheeses that are not the light version of cottage cheese but just the regular most of the cottage cheeses in Germany from what I've uh, noticed are actually one gram of carbohydrates which is absolutely amazeballs because uh, the cottage cheese that I usually buy, uh, the brand that I usually buy in Dubai uh, is, um, if I'm not mistaken, 3.5 grams of uh, carbs. Uh, so yeah, obviously like there's like 12 grams of uh, protein. So you need to be careful with that. So that means for me basically uh, no more like major protein sources till the end of the day, which is like eggs or salmon or um, you name it. Uh, I'm not really huge on meat as you know so I'll just have to I'll just have to stick to something that's more like you know vegetables and, uh, and this is actually 200 grams uh, this is actually 200 grams I'm not sure how well you can see the nutritional facts but so we're looking at uh, 12 24 grams of carbs so that's already one third of like what I usually do um, so yeah so that's that so I brought this with me uh, to my um, breakfast buffet and I also got yesterday in a supermarket uh, blackberries and um, raspberries. Uh, so I just took like a handful in a little Tupperware container um, and you know, I just mixed it. Also, I had um, a packet of organic almond butter that I bought in the States last week. So I just basically like just um, put it on top of my cottage cheese and my blackberries slash raspberries. Uh, they had um, sunflower seeds, just like add a little bit of that sprinkled on top. Uh, remember, actually, the as far as nutritional value for keto, uh, sunflower seeds are way um, more keto friendly, uh, if you will, than uh, pumpkin seeds. So, so that nobody says that you're missing out when you're on keto and you're missing out on pasta. So um, there is, uh, th those you can actually find pretty much everywhere. I mean, not the same brand, but the low calorie, uh, pretty much zero carb, yeah, it is actually zero carb uh, pastas. Uh, whenever I'm in the States, I actually buy the shirotake noodles at Whole Foods. So they come in all sorts of different shapes and forms. So I got the fettuccine style. Um, so if you're tired of like uh, zucchini noodles, for example, like you're done spiralizing forever and ever on end, uh, then you can go ahead and swap to those and have like kind of like a pasta bolognese. Oh my God, like the Italians would kill me now that this I'm calling this pasta bolognese, so apologies. Actually, it even, it even says here, 
shiratake uh, kind of style. So uh, I don't consume them often, just so you guys know, because at the end of the day, it expires um, close to my birthday next year. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's still kind of like process, but every now and then just to, you know, like shake things up a little. So what's next? Then there's a mix of um, different sprouts. Uh, I always bring those from Germany, the exact same packaging, packaging every time. Uh, you see there's like, oh, sorry about the shades. I'm just trying to like, sh like I said, shed some light on it. So just trying to get the best of the, in my room, my hotel room corner. And uh, secondly, the portion is neat, as I said. So usually that is good for, I would say like two salads, three salads. Um, and then you can get a mix of different ones, right? So, okay, so that's that. But this is really like uh, posh looking uh, truffle butter. Um, so I absolutely love truffle butter and uh, I usually use it for the mashed cauliflower. So obviously we cannot have um, mashed potatoes on keto, but if you actually tried it at home and if you mash your cauliflower and uh, if you added truffle butter to it, it is to die for, let me tell you this. So you wouldn't look at the mashed potatoes ever and ever and ever again. So, I mean, oh my gosh, I'm saying that and I'm actually in Germany when <laughs> there's loads of different potato things here, like potato salads and stuff. So yeah, but I'm just saying. So I'm not gonna go through nutritional facts here because obviously whatever is very, 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 very high in fat is very, very, very low in carbs. So it's not even one gram of carbs per 100 grams. Uh, so it's definitely like your guys are good to go with that. Um, so yeah, that's that. Mm, oh, a truffle butter obviously is not, it's not a cheap thing, but it's definitely worth it because it has a very profound flavor. So even if you just add one teaspoon, uh, you're, you're going to taste it. So you don't have to go through a, like half of a jar to actually like taste it. So you guys are fine. Like, uh, just two more things, which like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try it. I'd like, I would want to just like have it now. <laughs> <laughs> but it's breakfast time still so and it, this is more like a lunch food okay so we've got two of those uh, okay let me try to like so um this is basically it's we're going really Italian today actually I'm not sure with the fettuccine and now the pomodoro uh, the what's it called the tomato sauce sorry sometimes I'm like what's it called in English so this is the tomato sauce and then we have a uh, da tomato sauce but this is made out of Okay, handcrafted organic tomato sauce with yellow peppers and almond flakes. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. I've never even, I would never even think of a combination like that. Um, so I am definitely trying it. So I'm gonna have my fettuccine with those two sauces for sure. So last but not least, uh, what I'm gonna have during my journey back to Dubai is because basically like I had so like for the most part I eat twice a day as you guys know so yeah I broke my fast I only managed to do uh, 15 and a half hours only because 16 is like the bare minimum for me but I mean um, I, I would miss the um, the breakfast buffet so, and I'm not gonna like, you know, kill myself over it. 15 and a half is better than nothing, right? So the most important thing was that I did my workout um, on a fasted state. Um, and yeah, it wasn't crazy workout because otherwise I'd be like dripping here. So <laughs> just the core muscles and glutes. Uh, and not much like cardio actually today, just like a bit of stretching as uh, just to give myself a head start for a long day. But this is gonna be my lunch slash dinner my second meal today and then that's it um <clears throat> okay i found something absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant and i wish we had those in dubai uh, this is uh, basically from what i can describe to you because it's not like i can actually read the label okay now i can read the tahini zuros which is tahini with the zuros <laughs> duh <laughs> my german's getting better with every minute um okay so we have a uh, tahini at the bottom you can see here and then the the zucchini noodles okay the usual um, and then i can see there's a few cashew nuts in there there is red bell peppers uh onion like spring onion okay there's some sort of coconut milk in it uh the tahini my favorite from what i can understand here 
uh, okay, it's it, there's some sort of, so, some sort of a soy sauce, cardamom to spice it up, and uh, uh, lemon juice. I don't know why I always do this when I say lemon juice because I'm squeezing it in my head. Um, okay, so this thing is 300 grams, and so we're looking at uh, 14 grams of carbs. Doesn't specify fiber, but hey. We have spinach in there, we have zucchini in there, we have veggies in there, so there is some sort of fiber. But even if the whole thing, which is gonna be my lunch, is 14 grams of carbs, I'll take it, okay? And I'm sure it's to die for. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna have. And then I bought something extra, which is basically black and uh, green olives with um, Greek uh, feta. It's a nice mix, so it's very easy to basically just open this, open this, mix it, eat it. And you're done so it's very easy to have those extra uh, fats in there because aside from tahini zucchini or spinach leaves they it's not really uh, huge on on fat and you've got to you know um, increase your your fat intake so the green and the black olives that's gonna take me there and then I can always sprinkle some uh, olive oil on top or the MCT because I always travel with the with a, with a sachet uh, of MCT oil. So for those of you guys who either live in Germany or are visiting Germany, uh, come for work to Germany or just come to uh, I don't know you guys name it or it's uh, spring or summertime and I usually come here uh, with my rollerblades so when I'm done with uh, whatever work I need to do then I basically rollerblade um, so yeah I hope that video helped you guys with uh, figuring out maybe you know some of you live here or or I don't know just moved in here and uh, you passed by those products and you've never actually paid attention um, yeah, I did not have as much time yesterday as I wanted to to browse and read the labels and pick up things, which like I always go to the same supermarket. Um, but there's every single time I go, um, there's always, I mean, I don't mean like the, the exact same, the, the brand wise, I always go to the same one. But every time I go, I discover something new. If you have any other items that you discover, please share. Please post pictures down below and I'll be happy to check it out next time I'm in Germany. Enjoy your day or have a good night if you're watching it and it's evening wherever you are in whatever neck of the woods. And uh, tomorrow when you have your lunch, just think about me having my fettuccine with the pomodoro sauce, okay? So till next time and remember you guys stay hyper!